Determine and state an equation of the line perpendicular to the line 5x minus 4y equal to 10 and passing through the point 5 comma 12. Okay, so to do this, we need to recognize that two lines that are perpendicular to one another will have slopes with the following relationship. So a line, the slope of a, a line that's perpendicular to a given slope, let's say if the given slope was a over b, right, then the slope of the line that's perpendicular will be negative b over a. It will be the negative reciprocal. So looking at this equation right now, I have 5x minus 4y is equal to 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for y to try to get to try to and extract the slope. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 5x and divide both sides by negative 4. So if I do that, I'll end up with negative 5x plus 10 over negative 4. And to simplify this, the negative 4 goes into both negative 5x and into the 10. So this becomes 5 fourths x plus, or actually it will be minus now, so it will be plus negative, 10 fourths, or 5 halves. But I really don't care about what the y-intercept is of this line. All I care about is this guy right here. The slope is 5 fourths. So if I know the slope of the line is 5 fourths, then the line perpendicular to this given line will be the negative reciprocal of it. So it will be negative 5. I'm sorry, it will be negative 4 fifths. So to write the equation of a line, I have a certain level of bias. I, I actually prefer not to write equation of lines in slope-intercept form. I prefer to write it in point-slope form, and the template for writing the equation of a line in point-slope form is given by this. So if the slope is negative 4 fifths, I want to multiply that by x minus well, they gave us a point, didn't they? That's 5, 12. So x1, y1, x1 is 5, y1 is 12. So the equation is, so the equation is, giving myself a little more room, y minus 12 is equal to negative 4 fifths x minus 12. And actually, you can leave your answer in this form here. There's no... Uh, nothing here is saying that you have to write it in a specific format. So you can leave your answer like that. But if you feel so much inclined to rewrite this in, um, in point, uh, slope intercept form, you can certainly do that, okay? Um, but, you know, it'll be a little more messy. So I want to do it for those just who, those who are, like, super inclined to. So this will be negative 4 fifths x plus... 48 fifths, right? And I don't know, I want to add 12 to both sides. So can you see why leaving the answer in the step uh, above is actually a much more elegant answer and simpler, right? Here we got to combine the 48 fifths and the 12 together. So if we do that, we'll end up with, um, so the common denominator will be 60 fifths, 60 fifths, so 60 plus 48, that's 108 fifths. This would be your answer if you were so inclined to write it in slope-intercept form. But you don't have to, okay? You can certainly leave your answer like this.